Alright guys, welcome to your video on osmosis. So I've already drawn some solute particles just so I don't waste time doing it with y'all. Um, and in this scenario, I have put more solute particles on the bottom, which makes it hypertonic. To the top part, which is hypotonic. Because it has less solute particles. Okay, in osmosis, um, we're still talking about moving things across the plasma membrane, but in this case, we're talking about water molecules moving. So these solute particles are not going to be crossing the membrane. So the next best thing is to move the water. Um, so the water is going to be moving in the direction of its own concentration gradient. So in this scenario, wherever there's not very much solute, there's going to be a lot of water. This water is able to cross the membrane because we have a special protein channel called aquaporin that will let the water in. Over here on this side, we have more solutes, so we have less water. Okay, so the water is going to move um, towards its concentration gradient. I'm say movement of water along its concentration gradient. So where there's more water to less water. Okay, it's really important that we are talking about water in this scenario because those solute particles are not moving the water is. And because the water is moving um, with its own concentration gradient, it doesn't require any energy. Okay, the water is just diffusing across the membrane through this protein channel, aquaporin, and into the hypertonic solution. That way it's going to kind of dilute this area and we're going to eventually try and get to where both sides are isotonic.